Mr. Boy! What on boy? If you've got a low drive dog and you want to build up its full drive, maybe some of the tips in this video will help. How did I build the ball drive in my bulldog? This one is just about uh, my Staffy Bulldog Cross. It's not about my Mastiff Cross Staffy because she was a different story altogether. And just to, just to confirm that, um, yeah, building ball drive, it, it does kind of change depending on the dog, in my experience anyway. It was um, 10 weeks old. I started off doing the normal training, like with, uh, well, ten half, ten and a half. I got him when he was ten weeks, so it was about like a week, a week later, I'll say. Um, I started off just doing the normal thing of giving him the treats and that because we weren't ready to go outside. But as soon as he was able to go outside, I obviously wanted to start playing catch with him. And he, um, you know, running off the ball catch. And he, obviously, as a puppy, was just, you know, trying to find his feet, didn't understand the game. I taught the the, the, the boy the game of catch. Obviously, as he got bigger and bigger, he started to learn more and more and more how to jump for the ball and stuff like that. And along the way, I introduced other little things and gave him the ball as a reward. It is simple, but there are little things that go with it. And let me just explain, yeah? Not every dog, for instance, is going to be um, straight up ready for a ball. I mean, obviously, my, my dog's are a high drive. If you haven't got a high drive uh, dog, you have to kind of encourage them with, like, tug. I mean, when he was a baby, I do I used to do tug with him, all those kind of prey drive, drive type things. And then I would give him his ball as a, re, uh, a reward. And the ball um, became like an attention thing for him. So he knew that if he, if he would do something, he was going to get my attention with a good boy and the ball. Um, and building up with that and enabling him to, to connect the two, what I used to do is that when we used to play catch, I, I used to make sure that he brought the ball back to me. And if he didn't bring the ball back to me, he wouldn't get the ball again. I wouldn't throw it again. So he started to understand that when he brought the ball back, he would get good boy, he would get attention, and then I would give him another enjoy bit of enjoyment where he could go and run after the ball and catch it again. And that built up his enjoyment of the ball. Um, this is the way I did it, yeah? Um, and then, obviously, when I'm introducing other things like sit, stay, or jump, the jumping exercises that we did, he would jump, and then you could see in his, in his mind he's ready for the ball. That's basically how I built it up. I mean, it is something like that for every dog, but what I would say is if you've got a low-drive dog, dog with not much um, uh, prey drive, and you want to use the ball uh, rather than treats, right, just start trying to make build up the prey drive a little bit with tug, um... Try and build up the attention with the ball. So if you're, if you, I mean, most balls, most dogs want to run after a ball. Do you know what I mean? So when the dog runs off the ball, really give him attention and let him connect that attention that he's getting from you with the ball. Build up that bond. And then you can, then it's easier to start introducing it with um, other training uh, stuff that you want to do with them. Right, this isn't all a deliberate thing. Remember, I'm a DIY and I'm just doing it by feeling. I'm doing, I know what I want. But the rest of it is I'm doing it by feeling. I'm seeing how he's responding and then I'm carrying on with the good stuff. Do you see what I mean? That's basically how you do it. Um, so when I started to... Because I wanted him to be really good at catch. He's, he's amazing at catch now. Here's a video, yeah? Practice makes perfect. Just like anything, you know what I mean? So because he's loving his ball so much, he really wants to catch it. So when I'm doing different things like bouncing it on the ground and it jumps... You know, it's flying in the air. He really wants to go and catch that ball, and it all be almost becomes a competition. And that's how you—that's how the dog starts to love what he's doing. And then once he's loving what he's doing, you know that you're going to get his effort. You know what I mean? He's going to put his effort in, and then you've got every chance—not all the time—but you've got every chance of getting a dog that's going to be good at catch and that's going to love get, get being rewarded with the ball.